I I have been on a journey. The other night, I tried to go take a well-deserved sleep on my couch, and so I went out there and laid down, and I decided just for some background noise, I would turn on the TV. Um, so I turned on the TV, but to my dismay, I did not get pulled in by a poltergeist. Something much worse happened. Late night television! So I'm scrolling through all these channels, I'm seeing Spongebob, I'm seeing whatever shit MTV's gone at night, and I see a show that I haven't seen or like even thought about for 10 years i saw the american could be not could be japanese it's kind of like both show wipeout oh lucky buddy is this the weirdest show on television For those of you who don't know what Wipeout is, it's an American, totally not Japanese, run through the obstacle course and try and get to the end kind of game show. And there's 24 people and they whittle it down to four. And then those four go through one last obstacle course uh, to win bragging rights in their hometown. They also won $50,000, but who cares about that anymore? Now the premise is basic and fine. I have no problem with that. My problem is every other aspect of the show is that shit crazy. I hope that you guys are ready for this. First off, these hosts are just idiots. <laughs> uh, they're both named John. They're both named John. I, I do not trust that. But these guys also have such a weird attitude with their show. Um, they're, they're happy, they're peppy about it. They're like sports announcers, but they're a little hammed up for the camera for the kids. Um, but first off, they don't talk to their contestants. They, they are on a high pedestal. It's like Rapunzel if he ignored the prince or Bowser in his tower. They never speak to their contestants. But they also make fun of them. Like, they've called a couple people names and, uh, things that they did not want to be called. Like, this one girl got called Track Star. I mean, she is a track star, but she just got this, like, nickname. People just get nicknames sometimes. It's weird. But another thing is that they will call someone, like, Folly McFollerson when they fall on this obstacle course. That's very hard. But they call them that on parts where they could 100% not do it. I want to see these hosts do it. I want to see them try their own course because it's really freaking hard. And then they make fun of these people for doing them and getting it wrong. Maybe they're lizard people, right? Like maybe they're lizard people and they enjoy suffering and they're sucking out human souls or something like that. I, I don't know. I mean, but if they are lizard people, then everyone else is. I, I do not know where they pick up these contestants. It must be in a lab on the side of the road des moines iowa it's something these people are like controlled by the mind flare level weird i have a million examples but i'll just give a couple for the moment uh this one guy found a stray rabbit and loves the stray rabbit i don't know what he named him he said to remember the name i did not remember it i'm sorry dude he gets this rabbit and he puts it on a shirt like he makes a logo on the shirt and he says that he's gonna use the winning money to give towards the rabbit and help like heal it or something i don't know and that sounds sweet on paper but then he starts screaming to the gods about how he loves this rabbit what brought you here uh gotta take the challenge and also for my rabbit here it's just a stray rabbit i found his name is yams and uh he's got a problem with his eye it's a growth on the eye needs to be removed thousands of dollars thousands of dollars otherwise I, honest to god if i don't win this thing i don't know he, he might not even live you know this little guy needs help look at him love him he's three pounds three pounds of love and this poor announcer woman is just terrified like she, not visibly but you know that she's scared and she's just doing this to get a paycheck that's the other thing is that she is the only one that talks to these contestants and while she's trying to be all fun in love with it these people are really weird towards her and i i, I really just want to get them out of there at this point <laughs> oh don't forget about the people who uh have been abducted by aliens yeah uh, there are multiple people who were abducted by aliens, apparently, and one of them couldn't even go, like, two feet on the obstacle course. They- she gave up. She gave up, like, t two feet in. 
after she was so happy to be here and said that she was abducted by aliens. So maybe they're tampering with her. Now, that's all fine and dandy, right? It's kind of like watching a reality show at a point, uh, but there is something about this show that's very weird. This show is so horny. The show was premiering on ABC, which isn't a necessarily kids only channel, but it tries to produce family friendly content from what it says over here. So that's what I would like to believe. But it's not. <laughs> These hosts say ball maybe 400 times an episode. On the wipeout court, there is a bunch of balls. I'm gonna be saying it a lot too. There is a lot of, of ball action. There's the big balls, there's the rotating ones. There's a lot of them, right? And these guys say balls so much, but they know these sly f they know what they're doing. They they know what they're doing. They say like, oh, she just got here. Okay, I'm gonna be just just like them. Ready? Hold on, I'm gonna put the glasses up. Thank oh, she took a big ball right to the face. Hey Sherry, how you like those balls in your face? No! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Another instance of the horniness of the show is, I don't remember the girl's actual name because the nickname was stuck in my head, but contestants get nicknames. They don't always get nicknames, but if something like significant happens while they're on screen, then they'll get a nickname. This one guy was called the Iron Maiden. There's another guy I'm gonna talk about later who got a very problematic nickname. This girl got Trackstar, you know the deal. This girl got the name Bootylicious. Gonna let that let that sink in. The only reason that she got the name Bootylicious is because she said, and I quote over here, she has an abnormally large behind. But I I hate to break it to her. You're in a you're in a game show, like you're not in a strip club. But come back over here. The reason I say strip club is because this guy, as in another example of horniness is a preacher at a church he like he's a pastor he does uh, all the readings all the sayings and like reads to children and stuff but his plan when he gets the fifty thousand dollars that the show promises to give him when he bit finishes the course but the guy wasn't obviously gonna finish the course is he wanted to open a strip club this is a priest who reads to children saying if you love the Lord and love yourself, you're gonna you're gonna do great things in this world. And he's saying, but you know what? I'm gonna also sell women's bodies. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, another creepy thing is the way that people talk to the announcer lady. Over the course of the show, I've heard the phrase, are you single to these women? multiple times and i understand why they're attractive uh i wouldn't know i only kiss the homies but three is three times too many that's not that's not appropriate behavior to be acting on television my theory for all this activity is that i feel like the producers asked these people to kind of ham it up on camera because they didn't think the show could hold on their own which two things one I'm pretty sure it could hold on its own. It is people falling from an obstacle course into water. I could watch that all day, no commentary. But two, I understand that. I understand you wanna ham it up for the camera, but at the same time, you can have these moments, but they have to be scattered, you know? They have these moments stacked up one on another, and it's so bizarre. You can have these sex appeal moments, I guess, but you have to distribute them so people don't immediately understand and cut some of them out. But it's just non-stop weirdness. Everyone that they interview is weird, and then the hosts themselves are weird, and the girls are weird. This guy asks if... Oh, this guy told the woman, does he want to shave his back with him? It was weird. Uh-oh. We as producers created an obstacle course where we allowed any age, gender, race, or health condition to join in this tough physical activity. Yeah, sure, nothing's gonna go wrong there. Guys, people died. Two, to be exact, people, people, um, 
People passed away because of this. <laughs> yes, of course, as any game show ever happens, there was deaths here. And I'm not here to make fun of them at any expense. That sounds like a terrible way to go out on a pretty shitty game show. Um, but I do want to talk about it real quick because this is part of the controversy section. Uh, one of them had a health condition beforehand and died due to the causes of the activity which Wipeout Company was sued for. And I didn't read too far into the next one, I didn't like have a page pulled up. But they died from like broken bones and shit and I think they fractured something and died. So um, yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not good. Um, although I think that... There's a lot more problematic things than that. I talked about the nicknames earlier and how everyone kind of got a specific nickname on the show. And one of these nicknames was this one Indian guy that came on the show. Yes, I'm sorry, his race is important in this. He he came onto the show and without being... He wasn't... I don't even think he had an interview in the episode. Because some people have like many interviews. He didn't even have an interview. And they called him M. Night Shyamalan because he looked like another Indian man. M. Night Shyamalan. Now, here's the thing, I'm a f***ing moron, um, but I think it's a little racist, right? That's racist, I think? I don't know. Um, but that sounds a little racist to me, and I, I just think that, like, if you give someone a nickname for the entirety of the show, you should kind of tell them that? Just, just saying, you know? Just, just kind of... Throwing that out there. The thing about Wipeout is that it is so entertaining and I have to give it credit there because I don't have much else to say about it. It's just weird and that works to its advantage. I've never seen a game show that had the balls to do so much like this one did. It pulled a lot of shots that were weird. It put on a lot of people that were weird, but that's kind of the fun of it. And that's the fun of entertainment, you know, like Kid Nation. Kid Nation was a weird show, but it was really entertaining and it kind of kept me enthralled. Uh, when I watched Kid Nation a while ago, and I think it's the genius of it. And I do think that it was a little politically incorrect, but hell, it was 2009 and we didn't know what that was yet. And we didn't know how to refine that and how to be better people in that sense. So I honestly suggest go give it a watch. It is the weirdest thing that I've had to research for this video and had to watch multiple apples episodes yeah episodes i had to watch multiple episodes of it to kind of fully understand the context of it and to make sure it wasn't a one-time thing that i saw at 2 a.m in the morning and it wasn't it literally was just a weird kind of time capsule of a game show and i think that was something to kind of smile about you know if you guys want me to watch the show itself for a youtube video Let's say like 10 likes on this video and oh, subscribe if you could, that'd be awesome. We have some amazing support on the channel recently. I've been doing short content and I've been doing music related content, which is going to continue in the future. Just you wait. I wanted to put a shorter uh, to make video out right now so then I can work on the other projects and release those in a couple days. But seriously, this was a really fun video to make and just go watch the show. I think that it's a hell of a time. All right. I'll see you guys later in the outro that I'm sure I have made. Maybe.